Hi dear friend, welcome back to my channel. Today my topic is Samsung brand side by side switch. This is a digital inverter system. Uh, this one having a mini bar also and mini bar and also uh, water, ice cube, ice casas, everything uh, available with this uh, fridge. This fridge having problem actually uh, after filling gas within uh, one month. Within one month is it's not making cool. This customer actually uh, given to some other technician to repair this machine after delivery after repairing uh, that uh, technician delivered to the customer within only one month after that uh, disappear cooling because of that uh, customer gave a call to us and we went to the customer house and uh, we can we are not able to do at customer home because of that we collected from the customer house to our workshop now i'm going to check what is the problem exactly we will go to the next step remove the back cover the compressor side and uh, because we are found we found already before so the same situation same issue with this model uh, problem with the condenser condenser side leaking now you can see uh, sometime here chance to leak here because the the heating system here cooling uh, cooling system the condenser one uh, coil downside you, i will show you sometime is chance to leak from there otherwise uh, is uh, body con body uh, moisture control also there this is uh, externally internally body uh, condenser also because uh, we have to check everything now first of all i am going to check this one uh, because the according to the customer customer te telling uh, after refilling gas within one month only uh, cooling disappear because of that now i'm not going to refill the uh, gas or uh, nitrogen i'm not going to do the pressure first i'm going to remove this condenser and uh, we will check exactly i'm thinking some time chance to leak from here because of that now i'm going to remove this one and we will check first i'm going to do i'm uh, discharge line now we will remove from the compressor this compressor also 600 uh, R uh, R 600A butane uh, gas is very dangerous. It is flammable gas because of that. First, we have to release the gas. We have to check. Anyway, now I know with this uh, fridge, no more gas. Anyway, first uh, safety first because of that we will check again the gas available or not. Now I will remove the here little bit gas also here. Now this is dangerous uh, before using uh, welding uh, gas we have to release the wall also we have to remove the, all the gas from uh, system otherwise it will come uh, fire and I will release this one from the compressor and also I will cut here also we can uh, remove from here also and we will remove and we will take it out after that we can find out this portion this this area condenser area leaking or not now i am going to uh, release this pipe with the gas uh, because of that i have to remove this lock here and this lock after that only we can release the tube here we have to press and pull out we have to press up and pull out it will come like that it's very easy otherwise this pipe will get damaged and now i can remove here this discharge pipe from here Here, yeah, no any more gas. Now I already release here. Also from here. Okay. 
okay I release already now we can take condenser I have to remove here screws here you can see here two screws also this side also two screws we have to remove that screw after that uh, we can take it out and I will remove that I will take it out okay. now here we cannot put uh, our hand to remove that uh, screw because of that I am going to remove the condenser cooling pan and uh, we have to bend little bit this one and like that this is here only lock only coming here we bend here we can take it out like that easy now we can remove now we can remove the condenser screw little bit difficult but we have to remove leaking we have to separately we have to check here uh, this one we have to check separately condenser sorry evaporator this capillary tube and uh, this one we have to check separately that uh, section that's been cooling section also we have to check now uh, if we are uh, checking the int uh, internally body condenser we have to uh, from from this one and and this one we have to check condenser also this part only the condenser also we have we can check that's mean third step we have to check now I'm going to the first one I'm going to check this condenser and I already removed all the screws now we can take it out Yeah, I already took it. Now I'm suspecting here somewhere leaking because this is uh, all the draining here, drain plate. The so all the water will come up uh, here, and also this tube only I'm suspecting. First, we have to check anywhere leak here. I'm suspecting here only. Now we will fix here one charging valve and we will pressure with the nitrogen and we will check Now you can see I already pressure uh, 300, uh, 350 psi. Now I will check with the water if it is any leaking or not. Water bucket here. Now you can see it is uh, no any leakage from this condenser also I check with the water also but uh, no any leakage now we have to check uh, internally body condenser and uh, that after that I have to check again uh, evaporator side now we will check the condenser internal condenser here now still uh, not uh, reducing pressure 
still it is permanently showing uh, 350 and I will check the external, internal condenser now any leakage but I suspect leaking only here but no any leakage here now I will remove the charging valve here And now again I will pressure at least 400 350 again to the condenser. I have to close here because uh, this is very short because of that uh, I have to close with uh, another external Now I'm, what I did, I extend a little bit uh, this pipe because if any problem here is small pipe here because of that no length that's why I extend a little bit now I already close here now we can check the uh, after giving pressure that is internally condenser leaking or not now I am what I did I extend a little bit uh, this pipe because if any problem here is small pipe here because of that no length that's why I extend a little bit now I already close here now we can check uh, after giving pressure this is internally condenser leaking or not now you can see here the gas pressure actually it is came down that means I already kept uh, 350 more than 350 but now it's came uh, 200 that's mean uh, internal pipe condenser pipe already leak it's very difficult to find out actually because after peeling gas one month two months it's working properly after that only is uh, coming uh, down cool that's mean uh, totally it's not making cool after two months that's why I'm doing now anyway now I will check uh, evaporator side also I will remove the here suction pipe also here dry filter and uh, we will check that one also we have to confirm but 100% uh, I know now the problem with the uh, internal pipe that's mean uh, it's it's coming uh, humidity control two doors door side uh, the this one because of that uh, anyway if I'm I can uh, disconnect this line if I'm disconnecting we have to uh, fix another condenser we have to take the length is uh, high big length because the we, if we are con uh, disconnecting this uh, pipe the same pipe we have to take uh, externally internal pipe length because of that we have to do some modification if I'm uh, disconnecting this line uh, after that uh, is body uh, condenser that's mean door sense door humidity control uh, not coming but anyway cooling not affecting because of that uh, we have to do some modification also I having uh, I will show you I having another fridge also same uh, same Samsung brand 
the same thing happening i will show you now i will show you this this is the other fridge the same brand uh, samsung this one also having a leak uh, internally leak because i will show you here this one uh, you can see here pipe this pipe already metal pipe after getting corrosion uh, we cannot repair also this metal and now we don't to know where is the exactly leak here also one leaking point also here also leaking because of that uh, two three point if we are going to repair we have to damage the body because of that i cancel this bridge also now uh, but uh, this one i'm not going to cancel i'm i'm going to repair this one i'm going to disconnect the uh, external pipeline and i will i will do some modification uh, externally extra pipe for the length we have to keep it uh, the same length otherwise it will affect him for the compressor because of that uh, i'm do i have to do some modification now i already pressure for the evaporator section cooling section any leakage or not we i have to check because of that i already pressure uh, here 275 psi and uh, now i what i did i remove the uh, suction line from the compressor also i disconnect uh, dry filter here i remove the dry filter and i soldering here now i pressure already 275 psi Uh, nitrogen. If we are filling more than that, it will get damaged. Because of that, very careful while you are using nitrogen. And now, what I'm going to do, I will. I have to check. Uh, now I have to check. Operator side leaking or not? Before I already remove the cover here. Now I can check. here before no any leakage actually if it is any leakage here is oil marks definitely it will come but here no any oil mark nothing because of that now i can identify no any leakage evaporator side cooling side no need to remove all